we go to the next flash talk. If there are questions, then of course you please uh, see the speaker at the, at the poster session. Um, the next presentation is uh, by Professor Kyung Kong Kim, I hope. <laughs> Maybe you, you can pronounce it better, I'm sure. Um, uh, the presentation will be about the notable differences in the photostability of organic photovoltaics depending on the ligand of the titanium dioxide nanoparticles. Yeah. Thank you very much. My name is Kyung Gong Ki. <laughs> Sounds very <laughs> different. <laughs> so, uh, actually, my name is Kyung Gong Kim, and from uh, Korea, Iwa Women's University. So, I was a, a little bit sleepy because uh, this is midnight at Korea, but I just awakened. So today uh, I want to talk about the effect of some stabil organic stabilize so of the nanoparticles on the stability of OPVs. So as you may know very well, so the, the interfacial layer is very important in reducing charge recombination at the, at the interface. So that's why we have to introduce some kind of, uh, for example, metal oxide nanoparticles or some polyelectrolyte materials as well. So uh, the effect of this kind of uh, interfacial layer is, is clear. If you take a look at the VOC uh, uh, transient photovolta photovoltaic experiment, that it uh, reduced the charge recombination at the interface. So today, uh, I just want to talk about the uh, importance of the stabilizer. So until now, we, our group just focused on making the titanium di dioxide nanoparticle itself. But uh, recently, we tried to change the stabilizer. So we have, have synthesized three uh, different types of nanoparticles with different, uh, three different stabilizers. Uh, this is our, our firstly developed acetylacetone uh, stabilizer. Second one is uh, uh, phenyl. Uh, uh, has a phenyl uh, acetylacetone and this is methyl. So all powder uh, has a yellow color and it is very clear when it is dissolved in ethanol and it has high solubility above 20 milligrams per milliliter. Also this is highly dispersive and transparent as you can see here. And if you take a look the TM image, the size is about 3.9, uh, about 4 nanometers. And from the XPS, we found that there is a carbon material is, is wrapping uh, on the surface of titanium dioxide. Uh, the film quality is very good, so we, we can see there is a conformal and smooth coating uh, on, the, on the active layer. The performance of this uh, nanoparticle is similar without concerning the types of uh, organic uh, stabilizer. As you can see, uh, they show fairly similar performance. So it is better than uh, the device without titanium dioxide, especially in VOC. And we have tested uh, this device under the one sunlight uh, uh, intensity after encapsulation with the glass cap. And uh, for this case, we have used uh, this material uh, for check the uh, encapsulation, also we <coughs> monitored the efficiency change as a function of time. So as you can see, so if you store in the dark, it is fairly stable un until 1,000 hours. Uh, this is a prepared sample, and after performing the light soaking uh, for 1,000 uh, hours, so as you can see, there is difference in performance. So uh, in case of this uh, phenyl attached uh, uh, to nanoparticle shows the best uh, performance after 1,000 hour light soaking. However, uh, this, uh, this uh, MAC coated titanium dioxide, they, they lose the field factor and JSC a little bit. So uh, the losing the field factor is the main cause of the degradation of this uh, device. So uh, if you plot uh, this performance as a function of time, you can see clearly that. So 
In, in case of this material, uh, in case of uh, phenyl uh, AC, uh, it, it maintained about 73% of its initial uh, performance. And however, in case of uh, this material, uh, it lost 75% uh, of its initial efficiency and the ACAC material is in the middle between these two materials. But uh, in case of without titanium dioxide, that it decreases continuously and it uh, only shows 15% of its initial efficiency. So uh, when you, we take a look at the absorption spectrum or refraction, by using the refraction spectrum, there is no big difference in absorption. So we found that there is a large change in the uh, resistance of the device. This is of, as a prepared film. As you can see, there is a small resistance can be found that here. This is uh, without uh, titanium dioxide. But after performing the, the uh, light soaking, so the, there is a significant increase in the resistance of the device. So this one is uh, exactly match with the result of the uh, result of the light soaking test. So uh, this TR2 MAC shows uh, light uh, in increase the uh, uh, resistance and this one shows the uh, least increase in uh, efficiency. If you take a look, the body plus, so it is more clear. So in case of uh, MAC sample, so it became similar with the without titanium dioxide case after 1,000 hour light soaking. So we suspect that maybe this uh, MAC TRT can be interdiffused into the active layer. So you have to take a look at uh, the TM uh, by using the cross-section TM. So as you can see, this uh, phenyl AC, they maintained their interface. However, in case of titanium dioxide, MAC, so there is interdiffusion of titanium uh, MAC into the uh, active layer. So that's why uh, uh, this device behavior similar with uh, uh, without titanium dioxide. So I want to uh, conclude my talk, and we prepared three, three different uh, types of nanoparticles, and we found that uh, this uh, phenyl AC stabilized here to exhibit the most stable performance, and we that is uh, due to the uh, destruction of the interface between active layer and interface interfacial layer. So I want to especially thanks to my student, and thank you very much.